Yeah, it says there is no civil society in Saudi. The government made sure to undereducate the citizens when it came to politics. So without Al Saud, Saudi people will be in a worse shape. I think it's kind of changed again since King Abdullah. King Abdullah started a thing. I, I I don't know what his purpose of it was, but he wanted like to sort of uh, educate the Saudis better, and he kind of realized that. Most of our colleges suck. If not, oh, wait, not most. All of them suck. They just, yeah. They're just they just atrocious. So he offered, and it's, the offer is still on, like for any high school graduate, they can apply to any university around the world. And as soon as, as, as long as they get an acceptance, then all their fees, all their travels, and everything from A to Z is paid for. That's why you see a lot of Saudi expats all over the world in universities. Not in Canada and that started. We lost them all in Canada. I yeah, know, but that was one of the things that they wanted to take away. Canada was, Ontario was getting a lot of money from Saudi students, man. They were, like, because this was foreign fees. Yeah. They were getting a shitload of money but, from it, go, so they yeah. knew that that would hurt. You were saying, yeah. So, yeah, um, that is starting to actually pay off in Saudi, where you see all those people that were sent off mm. to study all over the world, right now they're coming back. Sometimes with master's degrees, PhDs, and whatnot, starting businesses, starting to get into higher positions, and that is not going to like pay off in society right away. It's going to take a generation of these people, and then they're going to mm -hmm. construct their own schools, and then we might get a better educated society there. But yeah, it was it, a good first step. But Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.